Hey guys, thought I'd do a real quick episode of Know Your Cone. Uh, what they are, what they aren't, and why. Uh, this is one that is a 18 inch cone that we use on a 18 inch uh, yellow SPL. It is a paper cone, so there's nothing you know real fancy about it or anything. It's a regular paper cone. This particular one worked very well for our purpose. Um, very, very few people need anything different than this, even in the SPL world. It's a real good cone. Not the lightest thing on the planet, but it does stay together in high SPL. Works great. So there we have paper. Another option that we do not use, but some do, in the case of this cone. It is all plastic. Very, very thin, but very, very lightweight. Uh, this particular one came off of a JLW... Uh, 13W7. So, that's plastic. It has its place in the market, not in any of our product lines. JL uses plastic cones on a lot of stuff. So does uh, Sony, Pioneer, Kenwood, that kind of stuff. So, they do as they do, not for us. But you have plastic cones. Then you have this cone, which is very arguable. Um, it looks like carbon fiber. I call it carbon fiber because it's not carbon fiber. Um, but also on the back, it's paper. So it's not pure in what it is. So you have this. Um, yes, I realize the inside of this is cut out and that does affect the strength, but it is rather flimsy, as we've pointed out before. But it, of uh, the companies that use this on the same exact sub, there's probably four or five companies that have the same sub. They all say this is Kevlar, or a Kevlar uh, laminate, I think is what one of them called it. But some argue, yes, it is Kevlar, or it's Kevlar laminate, so it's fine. Well, it's not Kevlar either, and here's how we know. This cone is Kevlar. It is completely Kevlar. You might notice it doesn't look like that. There's two things with that. One, the fibers themselves. So, if you look real close here, it looks a little bit more like a fiberglass mat uh, in terms of the uh, texture, size, that kind of thing. Uh, Kevlar actually is a registered trademark of DuPont. So, they own the rights to this stuff, um, it, that material. It can be used on very different things, but it's their material. DuPont's the only one that makes it. Carbon fiber is just a description of what it actually is. Many companies make it. Kevlar is Kevlar. Other fun fact about Kevlar, it's yellow. It's not black. It is yellow. It's only yellow. There are weaves that have... Uh, Kevlar and something else in it, so it'll be yellow and something else. But if it's Kevlar, it's yellow. That's how you know they're lying, that it's not Kevlar. Regardless of what the build house may tell them, not Kevlar, not yellow. Not the same weave, not the same material. It's not Kevlar. So then you also have carbon fiber. So an example of carbon fiber would be dust caps that we uh, have that we use here. And uh, carbon fiber does come in uh, different patterns, that kind of thing. This is just one of them. But this one does have uh, resin in it, what makes it shiny. Also adds some strength to it. Um, this is still very lightweight. Um, it is very rigid. So that's, that's carbon fiber. And one thing that we do use carbon fiber on cones is our swag six and a halves. And one reason we do use it because it is so light and it is so strong, but you see this is not uh, full of resin. So there are different ways that you can do that. Um, this is what they call pre-preg, where they uh, shape it, heat it, and it takes that form. But it's not as heavy because it doesn't have the resin in it. Uh, it's not as strong without all the resin in it, but it's as strong as it needs to be for a six and a half. So those are some of your cone options. You've got paper, plastic, Kevlar, and carbon fiber. We are getting into 
Kevlar as an SPL option for the very few that actually do need it or those who are willing to pay for it. Uh, they will only be available in the SPL models. It will not be available in the musical models because of the uh, cone angle, surround, all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's no performance benefit to it. And uh, it's just not going through all the extra effort of having a completely different cone just for musical ones. So that is Know Your Cone. <laughs>